Hi everyone, it's Emily on Sailing Vessel Temptress. Today I've got a little epoxy project I'm gonna share with you, show you how I do it, and uh, maybe it'll help you learn a few things. So the oars for our dinghy are quite old and they've split. So I've got all the pieces here, got them balanced out here on the lifelines and in here so you can see we've got letters on all these sides so there's an A that goes with A we've got B goes with B so I've kind of laid them out for the prep work. I'm gonna do a little bit of sanding on these to make sure that the surfaces are clean. I've got my two-part epoxy here, measuring tool, stirring tool some gloves, some cabosil, and some wood flour for thickening the epoxy, a brush, and some clamps over here. So I've got three clamps, uh, these types, and then I've got this big wood clamp, which I've prepped with tape, because I don't want to glue my wood clamp to my wood oars. That would not be good. Uh, so that's, that's a prep work. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, prep these surfaces here. We've got a little bit of old glue from the last time somebody did this and some varnish that's um, leaked through. So I'm just gonna take a Scotch-Brite pad, uh, no use wasting the sandpaper, and just prep these surfaces. Got a two-part epoxy here and we missed two parts of this with one part of this. If you can get epoxy with pumps on it, it's so much easier to measure it out. Uh, when I was building my dinghy a year and a half ago, I really wish I would have had them, but since then I've developed other ways to measure epoxy. Two to one is a lot easier than three to one. So just a yogurt container and a measuring spoon left from something else. If you don't mix this enough, it will not cure properly and that is no fun. It causes a big mess. You gotta rip everything apart again and try again. Now this is not fast epoxy, this is kind of like medium time epoxy, so we've got some time to work with it, so might as well spend the time to mix it up really well. <laughs> bit of cabosil and a little bit of wood flour just to thicken it up, give it a little more structure, but not too much. You should wear a mask so you don't breathe this stuff in, but I'm going to be oh, terrible. Just hold my breath. always loose bristles in them, so... I always 
try to really get any of those loose bristles out before I use the brush. It's actually pretty good. Okay. Epoxy can be a little bit weird to work with the first few times, especially if you're doing fiberglass work. Fiberglass work adds another layer, literally, uh, to the whole process. And I really didn't like epoxy when I first started working with it. But now that I've done it a few times, it makes repairs like this really easy. Okay, so we've got the two for this one. I'm gonna epoxy this side too. Just to make sure I have a good seal. One thing I learned when I was doing my dinghy is to do this epoxy work before the finishing work. Like I didn't take off all this old varnish or anything. I will do that. Uh, and I took off what I needed in order to get these to secure each other, but um, it's much easier to not have to make such a mess. I am not an expert at epoxy. I've done this a lot of times. There are still things that I could get better at, things I could learn. So if you've got epoxy tips for beginners, leave them for me in the comments so that everybody can benefit. One thing I've definitely learned is not to clamp things too tightly because then all the epoxy just oozes out. Now I've lost track of which side is which this side is here. Okay. You can see I pulled the epoxy just a little bit over the top of those seams because some of it will kind of soak into the wood and go down in the seams. So I put a little extra, I can always sand it off. What we want to avoid is things like this here, or there's this crack. It's really just difficult because it's on the end. I could tape it. Um, to hold it from the other side, but what I'm going to do is just wait for this to cure uh, probably several hours, maybe overnight. Then I'll take the clamps off, flip it over, and fill in the edges and use the clamps to do the other oar. I just don't have other clamps right now. So I'm Pat Hi, Pat. I'm Emily. Hi, Emily. Nice to meet you. Ah. That's what I came up with. Excellent. I thought I had two of the bars. Uh, I think that'll be perfect because actually Katie's Grace just brought me one too. I'm just fixing our oars. They came uh, undone. Oh and it yeah. took a little extra, so. Cool. I will. These don't look anything like ours, so I'll be able to bring them back to you. Are you the red boat? Yep. Okay. Cool. Excellent. Uh oh. I've probably got another one going. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Nice to meet you, Pat. Likewise, I saw you playing once at the uh, ukulele festival. Oh, yeah. Yep, Saturdays we do jams at Chelsea's. Okay. Anyway, good luck. Thanks. Thanks Hello a bunch. Hi. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Oh, just well. I've got bar clamps coming from all directions. Oh, do you need this? <laughs> I might need one more. So this will be perfect. And they all look different, so it'll be easy to return them. Yeah, okay. Cool, thank you.
All right, thanks to my neighbors for loaning me some clamps yesterday. Let's see if this sticks. Perfect, but not bad. Looks like we got glue most of the way through. Probably gonna add a little bit in these cracks on this side. Yeah. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and scrape off these extra bubbles because they're not quite cured yet. That'll save me some sanding later. And then, uh, looks like I'll just be able to paint the epoxy on this side. I won't even need the clamps, which is awesome. So, take the uh, epoxy, get some more gloves, get some more stir stick, and good to go. Do you love sanding? Huh? Do you love sanding? I like making things change colors. <laughs> There we go, uh, oars are all done. They're all sealed up, no more splitting. They're nice and shiny, these are gonna be great. Now we can take our dinghy around and have a backup of our motor fails. So I hope you guys learned a thing or two. Um, if you have questions or comments, leave them down in the comments section and we'll try to answer them. Until next time, this is Emily on Temptress.